Right, Fridays, the video usually breaks. Hopefully it doesn't today. Yes, hey guys and welcome back to the Grimsley Town to Glory, episode 12 of season 8. You will be seeing this on a Saturday, but of course, I have to record it on the Friday as we jump in straight into today. Even though the video was called Fighting on Both Fronts, I don't think we're really going to be. Oh, it was called We've Still Got a Chance or something. I haven't actually made the video when I'm recording this one. As yes, we sit, well, I think maybe nine points behind City. If we do get a win, of course, that depends all on that. As we are above Chelsea, Man United, Southampton and Arsenal to be in second place. And also... Harper is now top scorer, so he can take a bit of credit from something. As today, we need to try and get on form a little bit. Last episode wasn't too kind. You can see there, a mixed bag of starbursts. So, uh, well, I don't think they do a grey one, but they definitely do a red and a green. As today, we have Reading to start off with. Then we're on to a huge game in the Cup against Aston Villa. The semi-final of the FA Cup before we move on to Chelsea away at Stamford Bridge. Another big game. And maybe just Burnley. We might save these two games till the last episode. Then the FA Cup final after it as we are getting into a bit of a tricky patch. So yes, league might have gone. But we want to finish high as possible to try and get a good budget for next year. And we're going to beat Reading and Chelsea to do so. And Reading are in 20th position in the league. But do you know what? Because we've only got three games to actually play today. I think I'm going to play them all. So we are going to go ahead and play against Reading. And despite us having a cup game, we've still got a week in between that. And I don't think, come on, we can't get any more injuries. We can't be that harshly done. So we'll go with this same team. Dino in goal with Fry Tanganga now 84 rated. That's deserved. Rodon and Kelly at the back. Cantwell, Chalaba's a bit tired, but we'll stay there with Pope and Barry Leach. With Luis Alberto supporting William Harper. Can we try and put a few goals past Reading? If they surprise us, I'll honestly quit the save. And let's have a look at the Reading team. Don't actually know what they play to be bottom of the league. With Southwood in goal, Arayuna, Thornley, Costas and Vieira, the helmet hero, with Rinamotta and Minder, Guzman, Onan and Alpha with Crivarelli up front. It's been a while since we've faced these boys as well. They were really difficult to beat in the championship. I thought their football, once they got to the Prem, would be difficult to try and break down as well. But no. Only two points all season, I think. Definitely was last time I checked, and to be fair, I haven't looked in a while, so they might have more points as Leach now tries to cut inside, gives it to William Harper. He's got the run at the side of him from Brandon Pope. Can we take the lead early on? No! Southwood saves, and that was a bit of a poor shot, I've got to say, from Brandon Pope. He's got to be putting that one in a corner, and they live for the first 10 minutes to Reading. We don't punish them. However, Harper has the ball, has a spin on. He's miles offside, Alberto, and was swiped. Quite disappointed, though, with my strikers. Oh, that's a rough one. Jeff at Tanganga. We can't lose him for the next game. We have Aston Villa, so hopefully... I don't think a yellow will suspend him. He hasn't had a yellow in a while, but he's got to be careful now because the next game is the biggest one as Minda steps over that. Crivarelli, and it's going to space. Terrible free kick, just terrible as Dale Fry now at right back. Hopefully he can just try and get his rating to actually go up at right back. I don't know why he doesn't, as that's a good pass into Harper as well from Barry Leach. Here's William Harper, cuts inside. Defender's too slow and Harper was never missing. He's too good to play against the Royals as we take a 1-0 lead. I do think it was just a matter of time and we have waited. I mean, he just walks his way in the defender. The heavy touch throws him off. Number four does not want to go near Harper. Don't want to get his leg broken because when he's in stride, it's like Haaland. You don't want to get in his way. He's even the top scorer still now on 21 goals, of course, as he receives this pass as well. It was a good one. And I don't know who that's making the run. I think it was Alberto. As he goes alone and should have had two. Narrow miss. Very narrow. But we're going to still keep on fighting. It's Barry Leach this time. I had to pull that back I think Harper was offside. We're going to chip it to him this time. He's got a head on him, but he does volley. And Southwood, to be fair, has kept Reading in it a lot more than I thought he would. He's made three cracking say Well, no, I'd say two cracking ones and just an easy P-roll. Whereas Barry Leach tries to get it in the middle as well and plays it behind his man. They've survived quite well. Yes, of course, it's a goal, but they are doing bad overall. So they've survived quite well to say where. Second place, of course, as now Barry Leach with the ball. Can we try and make it two here? It's Harper going all over the shop. He's got the pace and Southwood again. This keeper 
Might have to come in as like a backup for us, you know. He is absolutely phenomenal stopping William Harper's shots. But can he stop a Tanganga header? Yes, he can. Fingertips to that one. And I don't believe what I'm seeing from the Reading keeper. Dale Fry, though, tries to shove him a little bit, but he does get the head away. This is an impossible game. Tanganga from range blocked. He's still got the ball, though, and he's going to play that into Brandon Pope. Can he try and find his look from range? And that's off the bar as he's going to be tapped again, and he gets the rebound, and again, and it's just gone in. But my days, how many chances did it take to beat that keeper? It's Todd Cantwell again, and Todd is the name. Remember it. Whilst Brooks is out when he was playing magnificently, Cantwell's just turned into another Brooks. He is higher rated, of course, so he should be better, but he wasn't. And now he is getting there. Southwood very unlucky again, but we take a 2-0 lead. And honestly, it is going the way I expected it, but... Jeez, without Southwood, I think it'd be more as... Can we make it more before half-time? Alberto gets in on the goals. It's definitely Reading game done and dusted now. And I think they should think about shutting up shop if they want to stop their goal difference going down. That was a tongue twister as it's straight over the top and Alberto has been fantastic since he joined the club. Easy finish. And we've just got to keep going afterwards. I think maybe one before half time again. It could be four, you know. We did get about three against Arsenal last time out as Brandon Pope gets the fourth. Getting easy just when we need to step the form up. When Chelsea are chasing us, we do. Reading, of course, muddered like they have been all season, but I expected them to be a little bit better. I still don't blame Southwood, although that's going to cross him because he's been magnificent. But still, it's getting embarrassing for him. And there we have it, half-time. I think I am going to make changes. Of course, no one's done bad. The defenders haven't had anything to do. And of course, we've just kept on scoring. So I think it's going to be fitness for the next game. And we're only going to make two, though, because of course we know that um, we can't make that many subs. As Kalajic... I actually know Balogun's getting loads of bids in for him. We'll try Kalajic. See if he can actually be a little bit decent up from Nemecha, of course, also on the field. Maybe Harper gets a bit mongy or a little bit arrogant that he's come off and thinks he should have stayed on. But I was, of course, going to take him off in this game all along. Same with Alberto because of his fitness. And then we save one sub for any potential injuries. Todd Cantwell running forward right here. He's got a bit of a gap. Can give it to Nemecha but goes wide to Pope who's already got a goal. Four different scorers. Can we make it five with the Metcher? No, it's blocked. And Reddin getting a bit of possession still, though. They're still trying to come at us. There's Rina Motta. That could have been a penalty, but nothing given as we do get a tackling after it as well. Kelly to give it to Brandon Pope. And now Cantwell to try and just charge it down this wing, I think. We've got men in the middle, but not really supporting. So we're going to give it into Nemecha. Give it back to Cantwell, who's still on side. Nemecha with a run round from Brandon Pope. Can he get two in this game? No, he can't, because Southwood again being a hero. Yes, I did say hero, even though they're losing. I said, I had to be careful with the Tanganga tackle. Maybe that's my next substitution. As Aston Villa are even beating Man United. That's not good for the next round, though, because we know Aston Villa going to be a challenge although we did thrash them at their place as Kelly stops that it could be a lot more if it weren't for Southwood as well in this game as Chalaba tackled as well into Onion into Crivarelli they've got a chance Tanganga perfect even when he's got the potential for a yellow card he still makes them great tackles as Campbell now gives it into Kalajic I think the substitutions have dropped the quality a lot so of course it's going to have an effect as We've took a uh, Vieri out right there. Sorry, helmet boy, as we do get the throw in anyway into Brandon Pope. Around the corner to Kalajic. One more to the metro. It's bounced to him. And it was going over, I think. Can we actually try and make it 5-0 to end a five-star display as Nemecha? He's deserved a goal since he's come on and gets it. There we go. Done. Finally. And, of course, it's going to be a five-star, like I just said. Felix to round it out. A good performance. It skipped a thing and we'll get another substitution. Tommy Doyle can come on and give Chalaba a rest. And that is the full-time whistle. Dino with the ball in hands as we don't really... I think that's the first time he's touched the ball, really. I honestly do as he's had nothing to do. A beautiful win. And I don't know... I don't think it would have confirmed us, of course, uh, Champions League because we had like a seven-point gap, I think. So we've got four games left. There's still 12 points to play for. We can still drop it massively. But it's a huge step towards the Champions League next season. Would love to be there as Aston Villa are up next. Sasa Kalajic asking to play at Wembley. Mate, I'm sorry. You're definitely going to be on the bench. So I'm not going to hype you up at all. I'm going to tell you as it is. As I'll get the press done and the team done. 
as this is a huge one. And I honestly think I might have said a couple of controversial things in that press conference. Hopefully it doesn't affect the game too, too much. As we've got a couple of Aston Villa old boys in our team ready to face against the former club with Dino being one of them in the goal. Dale Fry at right back, Tanganga the other one, Rodon and Kelly with Todd Cantwell fresh from another goal. He's doing really well. Chalabert, Pope and Barry Leach on the right with Luis Alberto in attacking midfield and William Harper, you know, has to start. And you know where we are. Wembley Stadium. I mean, Aston Villa, I think, will bring quite a few fans. But then again, Grimsby, pack it up when we've been here in this save and in real life. You see a little bit in the snippets in the intro sequence. As there is the run we're on. Another Birmingham team in the other leg against Chelsea. It is Wolves against Chelsea. So Arsenal got knocked out, unfortunately. I would have liked to play them. But I think if we do manage to get past Aston Villa, it would be the Blues, who we play next in the league in the final. And Aston Villa, their lineup might be Eichen in goal as always. Vigo, Koza, Hanko, Dawley and James Ward-Prowse as the captain in the midfield with Moncayola, Camacho, who else on the other wing? João Pedro, Undombele, who's on really good form and Coman preferred to Fabio Silva up front. Don't really understand that because the youth players done well against us. And I'd say we're kind of used to playing here right now. We've played here in what, the playoff final against Hull, that was a big one. We've played here in the playoff final against Preston. In the in another one, maybe? I don't know if we've actually played another one. But then again, the final. We've played there in the final against Brighton last season. So we've been here at least three times. Let's make it a fourth one lucky. As Of course, we've been lucky with some of them other ones. But I am greedy. I want more. As William Harper on the turn right here with a good one. Tries to pass it down to Pope as well. As we're going to try and run forward a little bit. And give that to Barry Leach. Instant return into William Harper. Good touch. Tries to smack. But William, oh, not William, Ward Prowse blocks. Unfortunate not to try and get something off there as we've been tackled as well. It's Coleman around the corner. Kelly nicked off by Undombele as they're going to keep on coming at us right now. It's into Camacho around the corner to Ward Prowse who slid in and managed to get the ball as Chalibur even picks up on it as well. In the middle to Pope. Straight through to Harper who's already ready on the run in front of Hanko. It's William Harper against Miagen and he comes out on top the keeper. Bit of a poor shot I've got to say. As we're going to try and put this on someone's head. Let's go for Harper again. Can he try and score a header? Punched by Mike as it's going to fall and just go further and further back. Quite unfortunate there as Aston Villa are definitely giving us a game here. Uh, it's almost half an hour in and there's still no deadlock broken. We scored three against them really early on last time. As that's a good whipped in ball as well. But Harper not really on his toes enough to try and jump at it. And Coleman's right here. He's actually around Joe Rodon. Joe Rodon's been rounded and... He had to be careful there. I think he kind of clipped him a little bit, but the referee, of course, can't really give that at Wembley. It would have been pathetic as Barry Leach, of course, back in the team for a while. Now Brooks is injured, gives a good ball out to Cantwell. It's a good counter-attack. Back in the box. It might fall for him there and goes for an overhead kick. Goes for the speciality as Pope does pick up on it, though, and he has stayed down, I think, not Barry Leach, but Luis Alberto, the old man, as Leach gives it back in the middle to Harper. Though We're going to have to keep on playing on because we've got a big chance here until the tackle. I think he's definitely going to have to come off at half-time. At least Nemecha got a goal in the last game and his confidence boost right there as hopefully we can try and get him on and get a good performance out of him. Although we might be able to get something before half-time. Alberto's still on the field making a decent Maneuver out of the way so he can get Pope through the middle as Hanko clears it behind. And I might as well just put Nemecha right on now instead of half time. Saves us time right there as we're going to aim for Harper at the front post. Maybe a goal before half time, but it's just gone over. He's got the accurate, well, not the accuracy, but he's got the power to get the header. Just never on target as it's domination on possession, but nothing really happening. And it is a little bit of a concern, not too concerning but I do want to score sooner rather than later as here is Rekim Harper or William Harper turns inside going to try and shoot from range because I know he has that power finesse but of course not threatening anyone as Kingsley Coleman's going to come away with it now just got to stay on his back and make sure he doesn't turn however Undombele right here Aston Villa running a bit of a flurry right here across the box and why isn't Tanganga kicking it 
Why hasn't he kicked it? It's a big mistake from the player who has played so, so well since he joined us from Villa, who lets Coman have a tap-in at the back post and lead at Wembley in the semi-final. That is a surprise and a turn-up for the books. They've just beaten United and now they're beating us. It's across the box. And I'll never forgive you, Tanganga, if we lose this. You've been really good. But I want to win this cup and you might have cost us. Absolutely freaking terrible as Chalaba now. Let's try and get forward and instantly reply, shall we? His battle through that it was meant for Todd Campbell. I might have to give him it because he's a bit low on energy. Is old Trevor. As they're going to go all the way back. I didn't mean for that. But Rod on to pass it into Pope. Around the corner to Nemecha. Harper's got a bit of a gap here. Let's Pope run around him. Goes himself and don't find no. Absolutely shocking so far. As now Trevor Chalibur again though. Into Harper. Continues his run. He's having a really good game is Trevor. Probably his best player. He's going to try and cut back inside. Going to try and shoot. But it's a good lunge. As Aston Villa keep the ball away from us. And we've only just got under half an hour. Worrying times as Brandon Pope right now gives it around the corner to Nemecha on to Harper. This guy's got pace and shot, especially on a tight angle as I went to try and create an angle to try and shoot from. But he's won the corner, I think, and missed as it's given us a goal kick. Don't want us to win it. Game against us again, as you can tell, because they were on the attack. But it's a great tackle and Chalaber now. Into Toddy Cantwell, onto Felix Nemecha, around to Cantwell. I see a run from Pope and Harper as it's into the room where none of them decided to go. Honestly, that was terrible as Barry Leach does well to try and touch that down, but no pass off for him. We need to try and speed this up. If we're going to try and do anything, we've got to try and do it soon as Coman holds us off with a pass around the corner into Vera. I've never heard of him before. Oh, no, he did. Scoring the first game, I think, against us as Moresu completely took out. You can see we haven't got many defenders back as it's through to Tango and Dumbele and it's a penalty. And it might be game over here as Trevor Chalaba done so well. But he was going to score, I feel, if I didn't do anything as he'll be off for the final if we even manage to squeeze through there. And it's a penalty for Villa. It's gone wrong in the semi-final of the FA Cup. A trophy I really wanted to do well in. Can we save the pen? We don't. And Villa, I think, are through. Devastating. It's Ward Prowse. He never misses spot kicks. As they brought the fans and brought their A game. Aston Villa just getting revenge for us in the league. And beating us in the FA Cup. We will not win it this year, I don't think. Although I am going to keep on trying. I've got Harper, Balogun and Sasa Kalajic all up front together. As Dale Fry even seems like he's flooding forward a little bit. He's took out a little bit there as well as, come on ref, give me some up. But typical, absolutely nothing given as Undombele gets a ball out again. Camacho, one on one with Dino. Please just clear that Pope as he does. It stops it from being 3-0, but I would have liked him to clear it to a player. Instead, he's made it really long for the, t the clock to tick down a little bit more as I think the game might have gone, you know, to be honest. As that's another rough tackle from Brandon Pope, and he's in the book. And can Ward Prowse even do something from this? If he does, I'll just say well done, because I'm not going to jump the wall or anything. And Dino does make a good save. Can we keep that in, Sasa? We do. Although I can't see us scoring two goals. Maybe one. Maybe one as Harper. Make that running behind. Head it on or something as no. He don't even win it. Blast that up, Brandon, but it's going to be game over. Definitely, because we don't have enough time to get two goals. Well, Prowse in the middle as well, who does give it up. Florian Balagun around the corner to no one. Cosa to pass it out, and well done, Aston Villa. Good luck at Wembley, as there's the final whistle. And I really wanted a trophy this year, but we are going to go trophyless. Despite us winning so many games, playing so, so well, it's kind of disappointing. We've fallen at the hurdle there. We lost in the Carabao Cup rather early on, and we did, of course, get knocked out in the Europa League. If it wasn't for the league, I'd say this has been below par. Yep, fair play to Villa. And Chelsea have even lost. Oh, my days. We could have had a draw against Wolves, which I'm not going to say is easy, but I would have preferred. So it's going to be a Black City derby. Is it Black City, Black County derby, something like that? It's a Birmingham derby in the final. Villa versus Wolves. At least it's not a top club that's going to be playing it. As uh, we, we have... Um, to play Chelsea right now next, but do I actually play it? Do I actually play it? Because I'm thinking about, because we haven't got the FA Cup, simulating Burnley, playing Chelsea, Liverpool and City, and then next episode, because we've had a semi-final and a game against Reading, next episode, 
we can have it as like a big one, of course, because we've got a big um, ending to the season to try and confirm Champions League football. Actually, I'll try and end the episode today with signing Brandon Pope and losing in that final might make it hard to squeeze the money. We've got a million from it, but will it be enough? Of course, there is a lot of add-ons in there. Where is he? He's right here. They submitted a transfer request as well. Okay, so Brandon Pope, I think, wants out of the club if he don't get a contract. If he does, I think he'll uh, just disapprove of it. I think it actually helps the club by offering a transfer request because he wants to be sold instead of, of course, just letting another club poach him for free as we'll try and sign him for four years. It shows intent. He wants to be here a long time. It's just down to us. There's 93 million. He wants a release clause on it this time, maybe getting fed up with us as we'll accept that, but... It's going to be so difficult to pay these wages. So, so difficult. We're going to have to take this all the way down. As, has the money, the million from the FA Cup actually gone through? It doesn't really seem like it. As well, for 32, it actually has gone through a little bit, I think. 32, that's quite a bit, Brandon, as he'll take that with a bit of a bonus. I can't afford the bonus. Just take the wage and run, please. As it's honestly everything I've got. You can actually have the extra eight quid let me put the extra eight quid on just to make sure he doesn't think about leaving it out as there we go it's the it's the most money we've got and he's gonna take it come on brandon pope remains at grimsby i knew he wouldn't leave we left it late it took two chances to try and sign him up but he has and he will be here of course for a bit longer. We can take him off the transfer list now as he has a four-year contract. Splendid. Splendid. And he's happy now. He's happy now. Good to have you on board, Brandon. As we will simulate up to the Chelsea game, I'm going to leave you in suspense, of course, with Liverpool and City to play after that. I don't think it's actually possible to catch them up. Actually, no, it is. It's possible to catch City. Is it likely? Very much not. As they have lost their game in hand, and they've actually lost two games in hand. So hang on. If we win two games, we will go to 75 points. And we play City at the end of the season. If we win all our games and beat City, we will win the league. Now I understand how big of an ask that is. And I am going to still... Leave Burnley to simulate in the next episode because I have to head off as well. So I'm going to risk simulating that. I'm going to play Chelsea at the start of next episode, play Liverpool and play City themselves as it's going to be so, so hard to try and win this league. But the chance is there. If Chelsea beat us, I think the league's gone. I don't think they'll chase Man City, but we honestly have a chance now because of that how's the goal difference as well i don't think it would go down because we jump ahead of points of them if we do beat them as what is the goal difference oh theirs is much more superior oh we've got to win every game we've got to win every game to win it so i hope you guys are looking forward to that in the next one i am very excited but of course you're gonna have to wait till monday to see that and that is going to be suspenseful but stay tuned as unfortunately guys <laughs> This is the end of this episode. There will be a rebuild next episode from one of you guys' suggestions because I'm taking suggestions now for that one. Like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel without uh, without a doubt because we're trying to reach 2K and get that notification bell on so you know when I have uploaded. Even personalize it, personalize it so it's only Grimsby or only rebuilds if you're into that. So I will see you in the next one. Take care in a bit and peace.